Welcome back to the show. One of our favorite guests, she's former Deputy National Security Advisor, KT McFarlane. KT, it's good to see you again. What do you make of what Edward just reported? Look, there, this administration, which is also the Obama administration's policy towards Iran, has been a complete failure. All, all regards, it's an economic failure and it's been a foreign policy failure. And here we are in the Middle East, whereas Edward and you have just pointed out, we're now, the world economy, which is not in terrific shape right now, is taking a big hit because Iran, through its proxies, is deciding who gets to ship in and out of the Middle East. The second part of it, though, which is, is a real concern for the United States, is even though the Biden administration says, well, we're bombing this and we're bombing that, they have not significantly degraded the ability of the Houthis to attack American or other vessels in the Red Sea. So we are one missile away from an American vessel being sunk. We are, we are a missile away from a mass casualty attack, which would bring the United States into a conflict, a direct conflict, which we don't want which we don't know how to fight and which could have been prevented. You know, that's pretty significant what you just said, KT, because didn't these Iranian-backed Houthis, didn't they sink a British ship in the Red Sea on Sunday? They have. I mean, so far, they've not had any casualties, direct casualties. But, you know, it, it really is just a matter of getting lucky. Now, why is that? Because the, the administration's policy is not to, to really go in and destroy where the missiles are coming from or where the drones are being launched from. They're playing like a perimeter defense. They're, they're catching the missile just as it's about to hit an American vessel or an allied or commercial ship. Then they're, they're succeeding in doing that. But it, one is going to get through at some point. You yeah. just pointed out a British ship was sunk. And, they, and it's it, a matter of time before k people are killed. We can s sense how concerned you are and, and the urgency of this, KT. I mean, they attacked two U.S. ships in the Gulf of Aden yesterday. Uh, you know, they hit that U.K owned bulk carrier ship on Sunday. They, you know, the Iran's militants mm -hmm. have launched at least 170 attacks on U.S. facilities in the Mideast since October 7th. But, you know, I thought the U.S. was doing retaliatory strikes and the Biden policy was going to shut this down. Now, did you see those numbers Edward just reported? Cost for cargo shipping tripling? Yeah. Doubling and tripling from Asia to the West Coast, also to the East Coast in just three months' time. And it's going to get worse because there's nothing that's stopping. Who, if you're Iran right now, you're feeling pretty good, right? You're you're destroying the world economy. You're determining who gets to come in and out of the Red Sea. You're determining about the safety of, of vessels throughout the region. You're feeling pretty good, and nobody's threatened you. What would you what does do? Iran care about? What do those mullahs care about? They, I would do. I would go after them economically in a really hard way, and I would go after all the sites in in Yemen and other places where this missile launchers and the drones are coming from. We know where they are. Shut them down. Not 20% degrade, 100% degrade them. KT McFarlane, love your passion and your smarts. Thank you for joining us.